Hello everyone and welcome to today's Trump webinar on the subject Taxon Design and the fastest way from solid to unfold. My name is Vitaly Pouts and I'd like to present you today TrueDops Boost and um, why it's, it is a smart programming system with cutting edge 3D design capabilities. Let's remind ourselves what is how is TrueDops Boost different to our current TrueDops and to other systems. We have developed a completely new system with integrating all the technologies uh, such as bent, laser and punching programming and you see basically it's um, the formula is very easy of TrueDops Boost. It's the Boost technology containing all the automatisms and the new architecture plus the new operating philosophy, meaning we have divided the software, the programming process into two steps. And first step or first level is the whole so-called home zone. It's our central control level and um, also order management. Um, and basically very central is the boost button and you get to your INC by clicking the boost button button and starting the automatic calculations. And the second level is uh, our tech zone containing all the technologies and for the first time a 3D CAD system. And um, basically you're able to correct any, um, any corrupt CAD data and import all the major CAD formats. And um, Another advantage is that you can interactively um, change or adjust your um, the automatically generated solutions, techno technological solutions, and um, that's basically everything within the Texon level. And at the beginning, it's always the order, and the end is the um, in C file which you transfer to your machine. Let's have a first look on the problems from the design of sheet metal parts in general. So apparently sheet metal design is often overlooked in 3D CAD systems. And it's um, quite difficult sometimes to handle dump, step or IGES geometries. And um, the, therefore the optimization of the production often requires a complete reconstruction. And that's, of course, very time consuming and tedious. And um, there are, if we, uh, for example, think um, of prototyping, there are always quite late uh, design changes within the product development state or uh, process. And um, CAT systems don't allow um, very often to make late design changes and it becomes um, quite difficult. And w with TrueDops Boost we meet all those um, problems and I am looking forward to show how we have solved it with within TrueDops Boost. And here are some advantages listed of sheet metal designing with TrueDops Boost. And first of all, of course, we import and unfold um, non-native designs. There are special features which can be introduced due to mo modern tools and the unfoldings can be even further optimized by introducing various bands, jun junctions or beads, for example. And again, there are many options to create and modify sheet metal parts. All right, let's switch over to, um, to TrueDops Boost. And as you can see, um, here is basically our user interface on the left side. We are, there are categories and some filters. Um, in the center part, the, there is um, the order list. And on the right side, a detailed view of the selected order on nesting or single part, depending on which category we are. So first of all, we import um, some files. As you can see, there are some SOLIDWORKS files, uh, STEP, IGES, DWG files, and that's the list of s all the supported formats. So TrueDops Boost is um, CAT neutral, you can say, and um, we support all the major CAT formats. So let's select all the um, examples and import them. So. With one glance, you see the um, new 
status concept. So you always see the next programming step um, if you check these icons um, which are there on each order and you see that there's a warning with the design so we need to um, do something with the design. Of course we haven't um, boosted um, the order yet but we will do it later. But we can see al already that it's basically the next step. So we set for all um, the imported orders some attributes. So that w would be the finish date, let's say it's um, next week. Um, we set a quantity of uh, let's say three and we set a customer and what we also can do is um, we can assign a material for um, and a tool list for the unfolding and we can leave the uh, bending machine and boost all the orders. So right now in the background the parts are being imported and also already um, corrected. Um, by correcting the parts there are of course some rules um, which are applied in order to correct some um, geometry uh, corruptions such as for example um, stitching uh, faces together to a solid um, between others and of course Trudov's boost tries um, to unfold the uh, files and if there is an assembly and we see it um, very nice here there is always a warning so if you see that um, exclamation mark red one you know there's a problem and I need to take care of that so what I'd like to emphasize is um, how easy it is to solve um, geometry problems and um, if the unfolding is incomplete how you do it in Trudops Boost and um, basically there's no problem which can't be solved so we will open um, the first file, first example and um, see where the origin of the problem is. So first of all um, we do have a task panel where um, where the problem origin is stated um, most of the time and um, of course the file is uh, being analyzed and if we have uh, implemented very mighty repair tools so if you don't uh, find the problem um, it's quite easy to activate some some of the repair tools and just to see um, whether for example um, free form curves are there so non-mathematical uh, faces and of course it also can be and we see here that there are unidentified uh, bends and formings and of course we see it also um, just by looking at it there are some beads there are some um, screws and and so on and um, for that reason we have a quite handy tool called identify uh, forms and first of all we click on the form identification now the model is um, being analyzed and um, all the f forms which are basically if you check the lower and upper side um, of the unfolded um, sheet metal part everything what is beneath um, or um, higher than the um, upper side is will, is recognized as a form and even cutouts um, can be analyzed but we ignore them um, in that example. So now we see that uh, 15 forms were detected and um, there are there um, yeah in red what we do is um, I just select the the screws, the six screws and I identify them as, um, as a form and you see that they get orange and get a f um, form feature. So for the other um, beads I'd like to use that um, bead identification tool and you see that there are nine uh, beads identified. They just ch click the check mark and they also get the feature uh, bead so the B type is circular and there's a radius and a round radius. Alright, so we have identified some forms and what we do is we validate the geometry and check whether the 
unfolding is correct. Um, if the unfolding is correct, you see it immediately within the structure tree. So the unfolding was created. We just open it. What we can do is uh, we can place it um, in a split screen and, for example, check what happens if we um, change a certain radius. So if you pay attention, I have selected A10. There is a bent radius of 2.2 mm. So if I change it, change it to 1 mm, for example, you see that 681 is of course being changed to 683 and um, so meaning that the deduction um, values and bent allowances are drawn of the out of the database, bent that database and we just change it back to 2.2 and it's again directly um, modified within the unfold. So um, both views are connected um, and it's quite easy to work on both sides. So we close it again. So what I'd like to show you is um, are some special features um, if you want to produce that part, for example, um, out of three parts, how do, w how do you do it? So first of all, I um, click two bands um, where I want to make this separation. I split it and I'd like to introduce a tab. S so a, if I activate the tab tool, I need to select an edge and you see there's a preview, there are some um, yeah, geometry dimension settings and um, I'm happy with the default um, values and just click the check mark. So um, in that case, um, you would probably produce the part cheaper. It's out of three parts and that would be one possibility of doing that. So if I select the, that face, click on unfold, you see immediately how the part would um, look like within the tab uh, region. So on the other side, um, I'd like to repeat it and, and use another feature um, and it would be a hinge. So again, I click on the um, on the edge, you, you get a preview, you can modify your um, dimensions of, of the hinge and um, of course you need the right uh, bending tools but you see how the part would look like. So the modern tools within Trudops Boost help you to produce your part not only correct and um, according to sheet metal rules but also you can modify it and um, make the part even cheaper. And we can just move it and to see, for example, how it would um, connect to the rest, uh, rest of the part. And again, the unfold, if you just click on that, um, on a face, um, on a part and um, unfold it, you see how it looks like. So our second example would be that assembly we just opened up and I'd like you, I'd like to show just, um, we, s we see if we check the structure tree that there are six components and um, I'd like to unfold that part. So I locate it in within the structure tree and open up that component. So um, as you can see, there are um, quite many rounds. It's, um, there are no splits and doesn't seem to be a sheet metal part but it's uh, very easy actually to repair it. So I just select the one radius and I look for all equal radiuses and press F for fill and um, in order to get um, edges, sharp edges and fill also that radius. So with the power selection tool I have selected um, with a few clicks all the radiuses and what I do now is I just convert that bulk and um, and uh, assign no overlap to those four um, sides. Box select from right to left, and also those four um, four edges at the bottom. Well, in the rest uh, we'll just get the normal bend. 
and you see that just with uh, with a few clicks we have um, converted the whole part to a sheet metal part and um, we just check the unfold and uh, look whether it's unfoldable well it's not unfoldable yet and the reason is you get also the interference um, because it's not split it split it um, at the bottom so what do we do there it's very easy you see for example um, that side and we we We've got a function called split. Um, I just want to type in 50%, so it gets the center um, of that uh, corner re relief, and you see that it cuts all the way uh, through the bend until um, a certain area. So, last step would be separation um, of that bend into, um, let's say, full overlap and we see what happens um, if you don't like um, the if you would like to choose the other side you just reverse the sides and well it's done on the other side um, same same game you go over to your corner relief type in 50% um, you get a cut and you just select your bent um, where you change from um, from bend to full overlap. Well, for for the other sides, um, it's even easier. But there we um, use another tool guide uh, with the two cutter points, and here you just select the two points um, where the cut or the split should be inserted, and also go to the other side. and repeat. So, now we can check whether the part is unfoldable and as we see it is, we see the um, outer dim dimensions and we can check the corner release if they are okay. We just close the part, close the component and you see that the part um, is converted, um, is unfolded, and we can take care of the other parts. But I just close it and show you some other examples. All right, we check our third example. I just open up the next part, and we see actually um, immediately that the conversion wasn't successful, and we just try it again. And we, all right, there are. There were some um, corner reliefs introduced already, but um, the system wasn't um, able to split uh, the whole body, the whole structure. Well, first of all, I, I would like to um, power select all the corner reliefs and fill them um, in order to to get the right splits. And you see that all the corner reliefs were filled. And um, again, I click convert, I select the right junction type, go choose um, no overlap and um, just see where I'd like to introduce some splits and um, let's say it would be on those sides. And on that side and here um, in the front Maybe those two lines. Well, you have, of course, um, to think how you want to produce that part. Well, for the rest, I just um, have chosen the uh, bend junction and um, have selected all the red lines. I validate the geometry again. I check my unfolding and um, uh, click unfold. And we see that everything is unfoldable. Well, just to check some uh, corner reliefs. For example, if you see some corner reliefs um, like that one, it's um, quite easy to correct them. So you just select, hit fill, and there are the corner relief is um, being filled. So of course you the the automatic um, preparation is very useful, so that relief should be there, so I just reverse it. Um, 
but it's the boost gives you full control um, with the manual tools. So just correct some reliefs uh, you don't like by selecting them, um, hitting fill, and you see if you close the part and see how nicely um, the corner reliefs are. Of course, if you like, you can um, work it out in 3D, but um, often it's uh, easier just uh, to open up the unfold and to correct the corner leaves there. All right, we close that part and check the next example. So our next example is an um, IGES file with uh, two problems. There are invalid uh, geometry structures and um, some bendings which weren't recognized. Well, we open up the part and um, we see where the origin of the problem is. Basically, I see that um, the whole structure is um, is one surface, so there are some faces missing. Um, I can basically um, clip volume or zoom to fit and go through the problematic areas and I see that those um, um, holes are the the origin of the problem of the gaps so I just hit the check mark and um, I let all the gaps um, being filled and now I see that we get a nice solid and we try to unfold now All right, so we can validate the geometry and I see, just check whether all the bendings are without in any interference. Well, if you look very closely, we see that there is an interference in that area and um, it's very easy to solve it. We need to find, of course, that um, the triangle and that would be that um, area and well I just hover over um, to that face surface I just press control turn my mouse wheel and can basically um, select the face behind um, any other face so I pull um, that one by let's say minus 1.5 mm and we should see a gap here if I activate the front view I see it uh, has been moved and of course I can um, still drag drag and drop it or drag it back by just pulling the face and yeah set an another um, distance as uh, basically I wish so we have solved it I um, click validation on validation of the geometry and if the calculation of the bending program is active um, the unfold was correct and we can close um, that example so let's do a last example um, that uh, clamp and as you can see the conversion of the file of the model um, wasn't quite successful or in other words as you can see um, not all bands were recognized so um, first of all of course I can check the unfold and see all right in that area um, sh that's basically the origin of the problem I close it again and if I zoom in I see that the side walls are basically like sticked uh, to the main geometry, the main model. Um, in that case, again, we apply our trick. Basically, um, basically, what I do is I select the inner face, copy it, paste it, do the same on the other side, double click, and all the um, faces get selected, copy paste, and we introduce um, just two planes on that side. So first of all, let's select the face or um, 
yes, the surface where I want to insert my plane. And what I want to do is I just cut um, the object with those two planes. And basically delete um, those solids um, on the side, side walls. So the next step after cutting would be um, positioning of the faces uh, to the right position. Therefore, uh, activate the move tool and uh, displace the anchor and basically um, move the face to the right side and I'll do the same on the other side and just select the whole surface, I move it um, to the upper side. Now we use the pull tool in order to um, th thicken that surface and I just drag, and, um, drag the surface and you see how they get merged and I'll do the same uh, on the other side by pulling it, um, you see we get now one solid. We delete the plane and uh, the wrong unfold and in the last step, we just convert the whole file and um, we check the unfolding. And as you can see now, it, it was unfolded correctly. All right, that was my last example. I hope you liked it. Um, we have seen how we solve um, different kind of problems um, which might occur within the unfolding process and how we can easily correct um, 3D geometry problems. To sum it up, uh, Trudop's boost works as expected. You just sketch on parts and pull and move uh, to adjust the part. There are no CAD restriction and rebuild problems. Um, boost works with any CAD geometry and the job is done faster than ever before. In case of any questions, um, don't hesitate to write us. We are glad uh, to answer them. And just a short preview for the next topic of the webinar, it will be text on bend and how we um, do the bend programming easier than ever before. And if you have got any ideas, also feel free to give us a feedback. And I'm looking forward for the next webinar. Wish you a pleasant day and goodbye.